Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Shoe Guy and this is the Series 10 opener. I will be taking a quick look at the products that will be upcoming in this series. Series 10 is non-premium pouches. There's a few abnormalities about this series. There are five brands in total in this series but only from two companies. And only one of those companies is what I refer to from the big four. Uh, I refer to it as the big four, uh, and that is Pinkerton. The big four, if you ever hear me say the big four, I don't know if I've said it before, it's US Smokeless Tobacco Company, American Snuff Company, Pinkerton and National. And I guess I guess it's the big five technically because I, I'm, I'm grudgingly going to have to say Swisher is one too. That said, the only one of those in this series is <clears throat> um, Pinkerton and it is represented pretty heavily. Uh, Timberwolf, Longhorn, and Renegades. Um, and then the other one is CN Smokeless, which has two brands, Klondike and Derringer. So I am going to run through them now in the order that they will play out. Number one spot, and we'll be going through Timberwolf first, will be Timberwolf Straight. Number two spot from Timberwolf will be Timberwolf Natural. The number three spot from Timberwolf will be Timberwolf Peach. The number four spot from Timberwolf will be Timberwolf Mint. And the number five spot and final Timberwolf product is Timberwolf Winter Green. Now, without pause, we will go to the number six spot, which is also a Pinkerton product, but now we're into the Longhorn line. All right, so the number six spot will be Longhorn Straight. And then number seven will be Longhorn Natural. The number eight spot will be Longhorn Mint. And the number nine spot and final Longhorn product will be Longhorn Winter Green. Then it is the number, without break, it is the number 10 spot, which is also a Pinkerton tobacco product. Um, it is one that it, I believe is rather old, just because I've heard it mentioned by a couple of my subscribers that have been around quite a while on the smokeless scene, and they refer to it as being way back in the day. So the number 10 spot and the final Pinkerton tobacco product will be Renegades. Winter green. That's the only one uh, Renegades product. At this point, I will take a break at the number after the number ten, and I will probably do probably at least two chew reviews. And during these first ten, I'll probably do a dry snuff review during them. But at the number ten. After the number 10, I'll break, probably do a couple chew reviews before I get into the CN Smokeless Tobacco Company products. We'll start with their premium line. Number 11 spot will be Klondike Cherry. The number 12 spot will be Klondike 
peppermint. And skipping the Unlucky 13, and the 14th slot will be the final Klondike product, and that is Klon... <laughs> Throwing cans. That's how happy I'm about this. <laughs> Klondike. Wintergreen. Number 15 spot. Heading on down the line will be Derringer Cherry. The number 16 spot will be Derringer Peppermint. And the number 17 and final entry on this list will be Derringer Winter Green. So with the Klondike and the Derringer, that's two of the three brands from CN Smokeless. I would like to take the time to thank the good people at CN Smokeless Tobacco of Grover, North Carolina for not seeing the need of putting Decade in pouches. There is something missing of course it will be outstanding quite possibly indefinitely and that is from swisher international kayak kayak still has three pouched products kayak is not sold around me in stores and the online criminal organization that i order all this stuff from does not carry their pouched products. So unfortunately, and I know there's gonna be people out there upset, I will not be including the three kayak pouched products in this series at this time. Uh, maybe sometime down the road, if I'm feeling ridiculously brave and or sarcastic, I, I may go out of my way to try to source them, but as of right now, this is the non-premium pouches list. So there are 17, well, it, there, it's actually 16 products. Um, taking out the unlucky 13, it goes to 17 numerally. Um, I'm not overly, I mean, they're not going to be the greatest products, but I have actually had Timberwolf in a pouch before, and it wasn't terrible. Um, the Longhorn may actually do better in a pouch uh, because my main complaint with Longhorn is the cut. So since I'm not really having to deal with the cut, Longhorn may play better. Renegades I'm interested in just because it sounds like it's been around since at least the 80s. Uh, yeah, the, the Klondike and the Derringer. Yeah, I could probably do without them. Uh, but I, I will do them. Uh, so this is series number 10, non-premium pouches, and I am going to do the first review very shortly because I just realized I don't have any straight of any kind in this house. So the Timberwolf straight pouches will be coming up in short turn here. And the light just did something very odd. Okay. That's what you get when you make the big bucks like me. All the good stuff. All the good equipment. Anyway. All right. So, that's it, guys. Uh, I do hope everyone is well. And as always, check out Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83. If you're into gaming type stuff, you have Real Talk Studios, and snooze questions can go over to snoozefreak.com, leave a comment in his, or a, a question in his comment section, and he will reply to you in English. If you're watching this and haven't subscribed yet, please do. Uh, subscribers on series like this, uh, t they just make it all the more worthwhile. Anyway, I hope everyone's well. Do take care, and as always, God bless.